Yes, Shalom. Perhaps we shouldn't have dealt with that subject matter, but we did. And by dealing with that particular subject matter, um, the videos of help um, and the Oscars, romancing the black mammy, um, Negro actresses on Tavis Smiley, I think it was part one. I think it was part one. I'm not too sure if there's a part two to that particular video, although we could have made a part two to it. But anyway, as we announced and we tried to use a comment, there's another thing on the YouTube we might have moved it around. They're always making these updates. But this is just a report that we've been, we've been flagged for that particular video, the particular video that I just mentioned, the help. Um, and uh, the Oscar or Oscars romancing the black man, um, Negro actresses on Tavis Smiley Part One. We we got a hit to that, and those who have been exercising their free speech um, and not advocating no violence or you know no hatred you know, of, of any particular person or a human being. It's not against the human being, but against what we regard to be to be evil. You understand? I mean, the propagation and the stereotyping and over-perpetration of, of certain images in the media, and then getting us to this kind of, um, you remember, uh, what was it, uh, Robert Townsend years ago, he had did a, a movie I forget the name of the movie right now, but he was like, Mass have been very good to me. He beat me on this day. He feed me on that day. He sucked and sucked me on the next day. He's been very, very good to me. I think that was, I forget the, the movie. I, I don't remember the name of it, but that scene in the movie, just that scene in the movie that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about when I think about this particular situation. But as the scripture says, the scripture says this, that um, the watchman, and this is what we sought to, to be and to do on this particular channel. And I'm saying this because when they start giving you these flags and these warnings, they're trying to say, okay, for the next um, six months or so, it's like if you, be a, if you be a good boy for the next six months or so and don't do anything that offends anybody, you understand, for, for any reason. And it's interesting, that hopefully before you see this vid, we'll post the other vid when we signed back into, um, you know, our account, the Ethiopian World Man. Hopefully it's that account you're watching this vid on. If you're not watching this vid on that account, it could be for one or two or maybe three other reasons. One of them being that they would have attempted to flag this particular account again. You understand for something that they want to consider now, this whole new hate speech thing. The Bible says that they frame mischief Right, they frame mischief by a law. In a way, they, they frame mischief by so-called legalities. This is why when we're speaking about Torah and the scriptures, so forth and so on, um, it's very, very important. So this is basically a heads up that we've been flagged for a particular video that when I think about it on a certain level, um, I could say we should not even, probably even have bothered with it. You understand, because most of us here and there and everywhere who are really studying, you know, the scriptures, the Torah, our birthright, um, the Holy Covenant, you know, and, and, and really the big picture, the big prophetic picture and our, and our role, our part in it as the once lost but now found as, as children of Jah, as, as true children of, of God, both, both black and white, both Jew to say Judah, Moab, Bethlehem, Negeri, Yehuda, as well as other Gentiles. I mean, when you speaking truth, it's easy for those who are, as, as the Bible says, that why don't some people come to the light? In other words, why don't they come to the true illumination? Because they, they don't want their dirty deeds, in other words, to be exposed. You know, and in other words, they still are not one could say unconscious, but it's like Morpheus said the best in the Matrix. Morpheus said, he said that these ones are not ready to be unplugged. That's what he said, these ones are not ready to be unplugged. Um, and therefore, you have to regard them in, on that level as, as, as enemies. 
You understand? That they are so, so inert. You understand? So hopelessly dependent upon the shit stuff. So, of all the vids that we put out, you understand? Anywhere where one could find a so called offense, in, a, in other words, to the extent of flagging it, in that particular video that helped um, Oscars romancing the black mammy, and, and that particular subject matter was we didn't coin it, we didn't craft it ourselves. We might have tweaked it here or there, but this was something that a lot of other people were saying. I'm talking about big time writers and a lot of these big time newspapers all across this country and probably all across the world were writing about this. How ironic that it's the same particular image of black people you know, that, that, is, that is being perpetrated. But we commented on that particular vid and it's that particular video that we commented on, some anonymous, we don't know who you understand, or who may have found offense, so much offense that they flagged it as hate speech, that we was commenting on hatred of always perpetrating black people, black men, and in particular black women in certain negative and derogatory stereotypes, and because of our commentary on it, and if you see the vid that we did where we basically took the, you know, took the camera, you know, the smartphone thing and, and, and just read and recorded it and just showed this is, we were seeing it for ourselves for the, for the first time, attention, that our account has been flagged for inappropriate content and then if you read on more and more you see how it's saying it's hate speech. First they say, well, we have nothing against free, freedom of speech, but, um, we don't tolerate hate speech to a particular group or violence. And I'm thinking, wait, in the vid, did we talk about, we're speaking about our own people. We're speaking about our own race. The same thing we said in the vid. We said that, listen, if the Jews, the European Jews especially, because the, the, the hatred against us as Beta Israel, as black Jews, is so heavy, you understand, but nobody flags them. Nobody flags these vids, and even if they flag them, the people who review it would say, because they're of the same mindset. You know, so, we must always be prepared. You understand? And, and we're rejoicing, actually, in, in this whole situation here. At first, we thought, we said, wow, this particular, you know, this particular website, this particular Ethiopian World Net, you know, it's been very, very good for, for I and I to communicate, to share, to strengthen one another, to minister. And now they're basically giving us a, a kind of a heads up that there's some people out there that don't like you. And because of things like this video, you understand, we agree with them. And you're going to be on like a sort of a, how can we say, a probation, you know, because of the help. Um, Oscars romancing black mammies, um, Negro actresses on tablets smiling. I'm trying, I'm trying to figure where in there. You, you know, nowadays people say, um, you hate her, and they say, I hate it. And, you know, like this, all, this love hate thing within Babylon is, is, a, is a big part of the manipulation of Babylon. You know, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like the bits? If, if you want to say, yes, I like it, like give it a thumbs up, or you can give it a thumbs down. But they, did, they wasn't satisfied with that. And, I, and I'm pretty sure it probably was that particular kind of um, uh, so-called black people that we often call Negroes, you understand? Or even we would say niggas. It was, it was the haters of the truth, folks that don't really check us out, that probably don't regularly subscribe to this, and yet I have to apologize to you all, brothers and sisters. I know a lot of you say you don't have to apologize for this truth, but no, I should apologize because because of that, we now all either have to work together to prepare contingencies. Each one of us doing our part. You know, saying we're we're able to, where we're willing to. 
you understand, not under any sense of an obligation, not under any sense of duress, but doing our part to, whether it's back up these vids, I know there's about what, 14, over 1,400 of them, but I'm talking about the real essential ones on the teaching, the Torah portions, and to post them elsewhere or to download them. Now, some of y'all have the skills. Some of y'all out there, we already know, have the skills. And brothers who have um, Agazi, I caught your comment. I was able to catch a couple of comments, um, you know, just looking over some of the comments earlier today, and you mentioned how um, a video contained some of either Damien Marley's music, and now they're even flagging or stopping those, those particular musics, because once again, as the scripture says, they're using mischief in the law. In other words, they, they're manipulating the law and our ignorance. On one, one side is our ignorance. The other part of it is that you got ones who know, but they have a cowardice. You, you, you see, because they're not born again. They're not really unplugged. You know what I'm saying? So they have a cowardice. So, that, so they, though they know the truth, they will not speak up for the truth. You know, because in any other situation, if, if any of these other folks who got websites and they talk all sort of like some of even the radical, um, I don't want to say neo-Nazis, but you know some of those, there's different sort of extreme groups out there. Um, and if they were in the same position as I and I, then their people would actually, you know, be out there, you know, make a big point out of it to the extent that they, the so-called Babylonian establishment, would have to adjust its position. But they know that there's a, there's a sense of disunity on I and I part, you understand? And hopefully, Jah willing, we can prove them wrong. But I apologize because this is a, a site that many of y'all know of and many of you regularly check out and, and find job willing and hopefully in Yeshua HaMushi, our black Lord and Savior, you find um, spiritual either nourishment or reinforcement for what you already know, you understand, or even a, a, a sense of, a sense of uh, fellowship and even encouragement in your walk with the King of Kings and His Christ. And for something like the whole nigger and negro thing, you know, dealing with the uh, Oscars and the, the help movie and the black mammy, really in spirit and truth, it's, it's not worth it, you understand, it's not worth it if we, if we to weigh and balance it. But that issue, it came up and that issue was hot and even we can say that we were a little bit um, emotionally engaged with it, so we felt well, we got to say something, and perhaps we could have still said something, but could have posted it elsewhere. You understand, and not on this particular um, channel. And unfortunately, the YouTube, the way they got the thing set up, you, you can't really engage them. They like, well, you can see our community guidelines, whatever, but you can't really, you know, there's not a really a recourse or a remedy, you know, about it. It's basically they're saying somebody somewhere flagged you. You know, not letting you know what particular points or whatever like that, but it's easy for anybody to make any sort of accusation against anybody, right? And it's taken as truth. But when we say something, we bring mountains of evidence, even from their own um, documentation and information, that still folks will pretend like, pretend like, it ain't nothing. So anyway, I'm just, I, 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 this is not a whole plan, big plan thing or whatever like that, but this is a heads up that our, our, our channel, Ethiopian World Net, has gotten flagged. Um, um, the only previous kind of, I won't even call it flagging, but some of the whole copyright material, you know, if you, we can't utilize Bob Marley's music in anything so much anymore, especially on the YouTubes, um, or any other kind of music that has been um, kind of colonized 
and on, on, on a certain level. And a lot of y'all are beginning to recognize what we had tried to blow the trumpet about earlier, that um, it seems like uh, somewhere in Germany, you know, um, they got the rights to the music and uh, the universal, whatever, whoever's behind that whole thing. And though many of us utilize the Bob Marley music and certain popular reggae tunes as a, as a, as a, as, a, as almost like a co-laborer on a certain level or a co-witness of our own experience in Rastafari. So if we were to publish something, you know, we like to utilize ionized music. And that's also a very important issue about the music as well, because I know there's a lot of y'all out there that have invited I and I to check out your tunes, your, your, whether the rhythms, whether your songs, or to even cooperate with y'all in some of the musical endeavors. And I and I is still willing and, and, and seeking to get ready for that. But this is, this is a teachable moment. What I would like to say here, this is a real teachable moment. Because um, it's almost like a changing of the guard, a changing of the generation, and kind of to stare it back you know, to the Torah, stir it back to the scriptures, you know. On a certain level, after even getting to the point of not naming so much names of certain people, but just teaching the Bible, teaching the scriptures, you know, saying, and the revelation of Rastafari, and letting the chips fall as they may. Because if we made the same point about the whole mammy thing, about the whole Negro and, 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 and even the actress point and did not particularly speak on the quote health. You see, when we touch on the health, we're touching on their, their monies. You know, we're affecting their monies. And that's one of the reasons why also I think they had to flag it and, and had to kind of bully I and I and say, oh, it's hate speech. And we can't even ask, well, in what way is it hate speech? What did we say? or present that was hateful of a particular person. Are they saying that we hate black people? Do you understand? Because we are saying such and such things, you know, that we hate our own people? Or are we saying we hate what certain people are doing to exploit us and exploit our image both nationally as well as internationally? You see, but we touch their money. You know, and we probably also touched some of those people who found it so offensive. You know, because this has happened before. There's folks that hated us for speaking the truth. You know, and then a few of them, like the, the lepers that Yeshua had cleansed, came back to him and, and, and thanked him later on for that. And this will happen to many of y'all. So we have to learn to practice what I and I is preaching. Mm -hmm. So we're going through this period of persecution, and, and there is the possibility, depends on how um, the, the haters of this particular channel respond to, you know, they might choose to flag something in the future. And then you might find that, this, that, that the regular postings have discontinued. Um, and you might find that this channel, you see that little tube face with the frown there, and they'll say that it, the channel was removed or permanently removed because of, of this, that, or the other thing. And um, they would love to be able to do that, my brothers and sisters. We're not going to stop speaking the truth and, and using our human right, our divine right to, to free speech and to truthful speech. We we'll apologize if it's brought to us that we have offended, truly offended somebody, someone um, wrongly. But we can't say that we've offended anyone wrongly in that particular video because no particulars were mentioned to us and based on what they said, we were not advocating hatred to our black sisters and, and, and actresses out there who are caught up in the system and we should have kept Morpheus, what Morpheus said in mind. I guess we stopped to look at the woman in the red dress and we took our eyes off it for a moment. 
so we, we apologize, but contingencies hopefully will be prepared. Um, other sites, even the Ethiopian World um, Network dot com is is currently um, under construction. Um, uh, I'll let I'll let you know more about that particulars on that as well um, coming forward. And there'll probably be a couple more vids where we'll discuss some more issues related to this. But we've been flagged. Uh, Ethiopia World Net has been flagged, and um, there's probably a strong possibility, knowing that you know anyone who, who, who seeks to live godly according to Jah's true way, and, and living according to Jah's true way means that we, we we can't be a friend of the world. And if you're not a friend of the world, then you're an enemy of the world, and the world will respond to you like such. But it's not. <laughs> It's not nothing to feel, you know, it's not nothing to feel like any sort of sadness off, off of. You remember we was teaching on what Christ says, and when you go through these times, rejoice and be exceedingly glad because we're recognizing what we've been studying and what we've been learning in the Word. So where it seems like so-called one door is closed, so to speak, many more doors are actually opening up. And the challenge right now among the countless numbers of y'all who are out there and, and, the, and, the, and the tens or maybe even hundreds who have responded and said, this is what I can do, these are my talents, these are my skills, what can I do, I want to link up with the I, I and I want to reason with the I. Please, my brothers and sisters, um, continue to, to pray and to work. Um, to keep the, the Shabbat set apart, to rest, and to continue to communicate as well and, and share with us your su suggestions because there are some, some who are working on various different projects right now out there and this more management needs to be, much more management, you know, we really have to, you know, be our brother's keeper, you know, and, and, and work with one another so that even if I personally am not checking this site or that site. Others are working with others, and, and the word so-called gets around. The old statement was saying was about the, you know, um, um, what was the vine, fig tree, vine, uh, heard through the grapevine or something like that, so to speak. But there, there will be a network, and that's what Ethiopia World Net is all about. So we're, we're working on I and I own live streaming website and hopefully a regular radio show as well. Um, I won't put this word out. If there's ones and ones who already have particular radio shows and would like to be a, a co-host, maybe on a regularly rotating basis, you know, if there's three or four and you have your own, you know, radio shows, we'll work with this one this week, the next one the next week, and answer different questions and, 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 you know, respond to the different needs out there and further get the message out. This is the main thing. We can't allow these little stumbling blocks to, to stumble us, but we must use these, these um, stumbling blocks as stepping stones. You understand that means we have to, you know, lift up our nine foot, you understand, and, and, and step up. You understand, lift it, lift it up and step up. Not not hold it down, you understand, but um, but, um, but lift up the King of Kings and his Christ. As Yeshua HaMashiach said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. So if we lift up the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ in whatever our particular call is, because we're not all called in the same calling, but if we can recognize and have the, the confidence, you understand, in Christ and through Christ in that particular call, then the, the work, you understand, the work of Jah will be fulfilled. So stay tuned, brothers and sisters, a little bit more to come on this. Like I said, this wasn't all kind of scripted out. We're still working on this teaching that we have up here behind us. But we came across that particular message. Um, to us from the YouTubes and um, administrators, and um, it is what it is.
All right, brothers and sisters, please keep in, you know, keep in communication. And those who have communicated, um, please be patient with I and I because the harvest is, is ready, but the, the laborers are few. We have prayed, and more and more of y'all are responding in kind, and we know that that is John. And in Yeshua's name, responding to I and I's call, and and little by little, hopefully, step by step, side by side, we'll work this out, all right? So, Shalom Rastafari. Pray and work. Shalom.